Hey guys, BX Bricks back with another LEGO Transformer review, and today we have, well, it's not really a part four, but the fourth installment in our LEGO Transformer City Bots. Let's check out Trypticon. Okay, so here we have Trypticon, kind of zoomed in a little bit, so let me uh, zoom out a bit so you can see all of him, right? He does have a left foot. Um, so we're going to do a nice little spin, looking super dupe. Um, this guy has been hanging around the studio for a while, and uh, you know, I was prepping for conventions, and you know, after May, I got to start prepping for Brick Fair Virginia, so I'm trying to get as many videos done as possible. Um, Triptagon has, he, he's full of, uh, you know, little features and stuff, but um, before we get into all that, we're going to do a size comparison. Uh, with his arch nemesis Metroplex. Here we have Trypticon hanging out with Metroplex. I got some really cool action poses, but you know, at the end of the video, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, let's see who else do we have? We have his partner in crime, Scorpionock. Scorponok, look this way, please. There you go. Looking super dupe. Let's put him off to the side. And of course, the fourth city bot, we have Fort Max. Those guys look a lot more uh, paired up than uh, with Metroplex, but. Hmm, come on. And then we have our typical deluxe scale transformer, Slingshot, still hanging around since he was in the last video. And he's like the only other guy that I have that's not a city bot that's just standing around. And then you've already seen how he looks next to me. And this is probably in scale with what he would look like next to an actual transformer. Yeah. So let's uh, get into some features. Um, let's get this plate out the way. So for some of Trypticon's features, probably better I just like kind of do this. And, yeah, that's good. Um, well, let's go over articulation first. Everything is ball jointed here, so ball jointed. Shoulders, yeah, as you know, allows them like butterfly um, hinges and stuff like that. Has an elbow, goes up and down, and then he even has wrist pivot. So all of that can move. He could grab regular guns and stuff like that based on the size of his hands. Um, legs, pretty much. Do like a full 360, bends in, bends back, um, two clips for the knees, it's the leg straightened out, and then full range of motion right there, and then the same thing for the ankle, like so, and bends all the way up also. No real uh, ankle pivot, just based on the transformation gimmick and everything like that. Um, as far as his tail, it can move down like that, but it breaks up the mold and everything, and you don't really see him swinging the tail or anything, because it has all sorts of transformation gimmicks with that. Um, with the little rockets, oh, let's uh, get these down so you can see how the head is supposed to spin full 360 like so and the head does fold up to look up looks down um, the mouth does open a fair bit got like two little guns hiding in there that's not like a tongue blaster Oh my god, I broke it. <laughs> Slap that back on. And the top part right here does fold up. 
reveal a head blaster, which I'm gonna have to get something sharp and pointy. I'm gonna use Scorpinox weapon right here. I'm gonna just kind of first you gotta move these guys out the way. If I could kind of get in there, launch it to find say ah. Get in there. And could bring these down. Kinda sorta. They do come down. There you go. So those do come down and then just to kind of show you there is a gun right in there, so kind of just poke that in there. And as you can see, we have the cannon right there. I'll bring that up a little bit more to really see it. Let's see if I can get it in this light. There you go. That looks pretty cool. So he literally has one, two, three, four guns packed inside of his head. This guy's really hot headed. So. And then you also have um, little cannons right here, which pretty much uh, rotate on stud friction. I'll try not to break that, if at all possible. Yep, go off. But I did design them so they could also store away on his back, just like the actual toy. So. This will rotate around like that. And then it will fold along his back like so. Just to give you a side profile of what that looks like. Still pretty compact. The other side does the same thing. Um, it's just in this mode, then his, his head can't really turn anymore on this 4x4 plate. So. It's uh, you know, better to be like action ready that way you can like, you know, be fully posable and stuff like that. Alright, so we are going to get into transformation. As I shift my table and everything. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see more. Um Huh. Alright, so what what mode should we do first? Um I guess maybe the, the battleship mode. Which will be a lot easier than the, or a lot closer than the, whatchamacallit, the battle station mode. Also, <laughs> before we get into that, I guess, we have the little car dude hanging out on his chest. So to get this guy out, just kind of get your nail in there. Separate the legs right there. And it, it's just all, you know, joined on that little... Um, what is this called? Uh, like the torch piece or something like that? But this is, I believe his name is Full Tilt. And we have Wipeout, which is the headmaster, which is pretty much consisting of just that little stud right there. And later on, I'm thinking about doing a brunt, since I did a six gun for Metroplex, and doing it weaponizer style to where you can rip them apart and put them on like a standard transformer. So that'll be fun to play around with. But to move Trypticon out the way, take a closer look at Full Tilt. Uh, very similar to the small car bot that I had with Metroplex. I'm gonna transform this guy. Just gonna flip these legs out. Rotate at the knee. Like so. And then you can bring these guys down. Flip this around to the back, like so. And then you could either leave it like this with the arm, or more or less flip them around like that. Like little faux elbows. Flip that around. Either way, it's fine. This arm can stretch out that way. All the same articulation as like my regular uh you know, uh, weapon guys. Jeez, well, target masters, that's what they're called. <laughs> so yeah, 
I think this guy came out pretty good. Just to show you a quick size comparison, here he is next to me, BX Brick, so he's roughly about minifig scale. Uh, fully articulated, even more so than a regular minifig. And you know, you can hold weapons and do all sorts of stuff also. And here he is next to Trypticon. So, cool little feature. So, for Trypticon, to get him into his battleship mode, let's see if I can remember this, it's been a while. Um, I do believe we have to put the other back cannon towards the back. If not, I'm sure I'll correct myself later. <laughs> Go, fold that down, and pretty much, um, let's see, I know it's gonna go like this, and yeah, so <laughs> these are gonna flip around also to where the head is facing the other way. Let's see if I can remember that. First, let's put these guns up just for now. It's on stud friction, so that's why they kind of just fall apart. Fall apart. Not fall apart, but just pop off easily. Now, with this, I know this is supposed to flip out like this and rotate around like so. And it should be like this to where the leg is now closer to the head. It's definitely all coming back to me now. And with the leg, what you want to do is fold the feet up, like so, pick up on itself like that, so that then, let's get the head out the way, it folds flat like that. So the reason I did this is to kind of make the little side of the hip like a rocket booster. So from there, you can bend this down. Actually, I think this is supposed to go the other way. Come on, behave. Go like that, and then hang out like that. So we're gonna do the other side like that also. To where we flip this up, flip this down like that. Take this, flip that, complete 180. Bring the leg down like so. Bring the arm around, hold that flat, bring that like this. We're getting somewhere. So then at this point, the head falls back like this. Everything is good. And I do believe the guns now fold up this way. Let's uh, do the same on the other side real quick. Oh, no, I must behave. And then the head is supposed to technically go like this. So this is the battleship mode. And then uh, these little guns also are supposed to flip out. According to pictures and stuff. Like so. So, let me get the little spinny table back so we can zoom in and get a clear picture on what this looks like come on zoom in zoom in and focus please there you go so this is battleship mode and I like it I do like it 
Um, it was pretty rough trying to figure out how to get them in all three modes and still make them look, you know, halfway decent. There we go. But I think he came out really well. And it's kind of weird having that huge head back there, but, you know, for the rest of the part, like these thrusters in the back? Super dupe. Super dupe. And the way they got the, got the legs all folded up, I think they did a really decent job with this right now. This looks like a pretty cool spaceship. I think this is supposed to be like the cockpit area or something like that. But, there we have that. Uh, it's really nothing to compare it to that makes sense, because I'm, I'm, I don't see myself throwing uh, the other guys in their spaceship modes, but yeah. This is Trypticon in his battleship mode. So let's get into his, uh, his battle station mode. That's going to be fun. Let's get that out the way. All right, so for the battle station mode, we're going to like halfway undo a lot of this stuff. And first thing I probably have to do is zoom out. I'm going to fold the cannons back in. And this folds out like so. Um, I do believe the head stays put, but these fold up like that, which now kind of destabilizes him a bit, but that's fine. Hey, you guys. All right, so we got that, and then all of this kind of goes back, let's see, we're going to rotate this back around, get these legs out the way and such, yeah, it goes like that, so, <laughs> this is going to be fun, <laughs> I'm going to try to do this on camera for the first time, alright, so with the legs, before we even get that far, right? that's just going to kind of chill out out there. For the legs, you got to stretch everything out. Like so, right? Just, that's fair enough. And then the whole legs pretty much split straight down the middle. So you kind of just want to get your nail in there. And it's going to pretty much separate right here. So if you guys could see, we got these one by one that's like rounded at one end with the bar on the other end. Those parts are really cool. You get as many as you can from BrickLink because they're going to help out so much when building Transformers. So those are pretty much going to rotate right there. Like so. So that's how that's going to stretch out, like that. So this will fold out, and that will flop around. Um, I believe this is supposed to fold in like that to kind of help stabilize everything. And that is one side done which is going to be lopsided because we didn't do the other side. But that's going to also flip out, but I'll show that part off once we get the other side done. Alright, so real quick. Yeah, the head will flop around, that's fine. No biggie. I'm going to get that done, but before all that... I'm going to stretch out the leg, the foot everything, get that all prepped. Kind of want the foot, you know, parallel to that. Put your nail in there. Try to get everything separated up there. And then rotate down at the ankle. The thing I love about this build is that it really kind of 
lets you do what you're supposed to do without the fear of it breaking your butt so much, you know? Like, I designed that part really well to be kind of like stress-free. Even though the tolerances are somewhat tight, not too tight. And then we'll fold this down. Very good. And then all of this, we'll bend down and out. Just get that arm in the right position. And there you go. Kind of start setting things down now. Ooh, that's really rough. I probably burned like at least 200 calories doing this. <laughs> and you want to rotate this up. The arms in the back will kind of help uh, situate everything. And then what you want to do with these uh, little gray clips right in there on each side is rotate the clip itself out this way, about 90 degrees. You want to rotate that up. I'm going to try to zoom in close so you can see exactly what we're talking about in here. So the clip, holding that right there, as long as it doesn't break on me, make me look crazy, you want to rotate that like that. Tighten everything up. So now the clip is no longer pointing up, it's pointing out that way. Like so. And then that helps with the ramp so that it can now touch the ground. So we're going to do the same on the other side. cool as possible. Come on. Support yourself. There you go. Almost. There you go. Good dino. Just for fun, I also did this guy in like Dinobot colors. And I released them on Facebook. And I wanted uh, to get a name for him. I think we came up with like Metro Rex or something like that. Something, something kind of cool. Okay, so at this point, we uh, pretty much just shape up the legs. So it kind of looks like a traditional Trypticon style with these things pointing forward. Everything looks good. camera so you can see everything and I'm gonna supposed to transform this guy back into car mode so he's like standing up on his chest so we're gonna do that really quick all right so we got this guy back and that little lantern thing or whatever they call it it's so weird it has no name but that's gonna snap on kind of so do it just the same way as it was in um Trypticon mode, I probably have to stand up for this to get a good angle. Try to get in there a little bit. Ideally without breaking anything apart. Snap that on like so. Looks super dupe. And then you can either leave it like that, because it's supposed to have the gimmick where it rolls down, but it's not going to do that because there's no wheels. But, ideally, it just folds up like that for city mode. And there we go. So, let's try to get it on the little spinny thing. So we can get a nice full 360 of this. And as you can see, it holds up really well. So. I don't have to really be worried about it being but so fragile. Alright, so let's get a nice little final spin on this. Trip the con in the city mode. And it looks really cool like this. You know, if you get a bunch of these little 
Lego statues, little micro men. You can kind of like stand him there, pretend like he's like hanging out on the deck. And you got like a huge room back there for them to do whatever people do inside of Triptychon. And keep in mind, the, the tail right there is really hollow, so you could put a bunch of stuff in there, really. It just it's like fits within a space of two studs across. All of that is hollow. But I try to put as much detail in there as possible just to make them look extra cool. But yeah, you get like seven of these guys, like manning stations and stuff. That, that, that'll be so dope. So yeah, that's Trypticon in all three modes. And that's pretty much it for that. So this is BX Bricks thanking you guys once again for liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. Um, like I said, um, after Trypticon, we're going to be releasing the Autobot Headmasters. So that's going to be really fun. I know I've done Chrome Dome. Um, I've done a bunch of the Decepticons, but I, I don't think I'll release Skull Cruncher or I did mind like. I think the only one I had to read um, that I'm, I need to release is Skull Cruncher. And I'm thinking about redoing Mind Wipe just because I, don't, I really don't like his leg transformation. But um, I did Chrome Dome version 2, which looks super dope. Um, and the other three uh, Headmasters in all about. So that's going to be real fun. So stay tuned for that. Um, let me know what you guys think about Trypticon. If you guys want to see. Say, for example, like Metro Titan, which is the evil version of Metroplex. I don't know why they did that, but I have him designed already. Um, it's just a matter of changing colors on Metroplex. And the same thing for Fort Max. If you want to see that, you know, if I get enough comments based on that, then I'll, I'll see if I can build it and do the videos. Otherwise, I'll probably just release the, the um, instructions for that and this guy right here, Trypticon, on BricksMediaStudios.com. Um, like I said, I might try to get working on Grunt to make him like a weaponizer. That sounds really fun and cool, so I'll, I'll, I'll probably jump on that even tonight. And um, I will see you guys next time. Peace.